Hello everybody and welcome to Toya and Robert's Objects of Desire. A few more precious things to show our chums out there this week. Well, my first object of desire comes from a package that was waiting for me when I finished the Electric Ladies Tour and got home. I opened the package and I was just so surprised by what I found. Firstly, it was from Toby Amis, the director of the King Crimson documentary, whose father lives less than 100 yards away from us so we see Toby a lot and when I opened the package this came out which is a mirror made with shells it has such incredible symmetry to it that I wrote to Toby and I said Toby this is amazing the symmetry is absolutely perfect and he wrote back he said yes it organized my chaotic mind and I just think that's amazing, don't you? I think it's breathtaking, a breathtaking piece of work. It would never have occurred to me that Toby would make this. I know, and it was such a pleasant surprise. When Toby was making the documentary, of course, it was incredibly challenging for him to work with such a large band on a worldwide tour and with a very difficult guitarist. So... I would secretly have conversations with Toby about how to approach you and to try and lessen the blow for you because you really do not like cameras near you or people asking you too many questions. And slowly you grew into the process quite brilliantly and you gave Toby a lot of time. But what you didn't know was... I was emailing Toby, talking to Toby and saying, you can't do this to my husband. You have to wheedle your way in with either cakes or just compliments. And I think he got it out of you in the end. Yes, 12 hours of interviews over three days. Well, it was more than that, Buggy. He came, he kept coming back and he kept coming back and then he interviewed a you on stage i mean it's a brilliant brilliant documentary if you haven't seen it seen it do anything you can to see it now my last object of desire before we move to you about 13 years ago i used to do pantomime i was young enough and strong enough to do two shows a day sometimes three shows a day over a period of three months and I used to play the Wicked Queen and I was performing Snow White at the theatre in Stevenage, Gordon Craig Theatre, a long time ago, it was about 2001, and a member of staff made this for me. And it's absolutely breathtakingly beautiful. It's made in white clay, fired, and the, the likeness is extremely, extraordinary. So this is one of my objects of desire. It's a happy memory of an art form I no longer do. And the pure reason I don't do it is I want my voice to last forever. And I want my body to last forever. And anyone who does pantomime has my utmost respect because it is an utterly remarkable art form. So Buggy, what's yours? Well, I'm most impressed with these two handmade articles. Yeah. My object of desire, my very precious thing, is also a design by my wife. Now. I'm going to hold it for you so right. everyone can see you. Good. Well, look. As some observant characters, our chums have seen that in Sunday lunch on the backdrop, tea, my wonderful little wife comes up with various designs and slogans. And one of these is Fripp's My Bitch. This is the very first and the originalist Fripp's My Bitch. And I love this so, so much. I took it to the wonderful Gillian Westbury in Laverstock, superb picture framer and art restorer, and said, Gillian, please, please frame this. It's so heavy. Yes, so had you best give it back to me, Lily? I'm okay, I've got it balanced on my knee. And I saw, I think I was playing Guildford G Live, and there was a, a young man on the front row wearing this. And I was mid-song, and I said, I like your T-shirt. I have seen some wonderful T-shirts at Royal Packages with Crimson in America last year, saying, Fripp's my bitch, and my sister Patricia even have, has a tote bag which says, Fripp's my bitch. And we've got a brand new one that is actually flying out the door. 
Crips my guru. Very popular. Now, I am not a guru. What are you then? I'm a bitch, dear. Well, actually, I think for many people who've seen you over the decades, that, you know, they have so much respect for you and so much kind of a heartfelt love for everything that you've done and you've kept doing for how many decades now? Five decades? 53 years on the road. Pretty challenging stuff, challenging music. And I suppose what's going to be happening next year is we're going to do a project that's highly skilled. It's going to use the Posh Pop Band and Robert and it's going to be the best music played absolutely stunningly with some very clever shifts in lighting and storytelling and events happening on stage. So what is it, Robert? Toya and Robert's Sunday Lunch Live. And this afternoon we had the first dates in that have already been booked, not yet public. In the UK. In the UK. In next October 2023, we're planning approximately 15 or 16 gigs within the UK. The Posh Pop Band are amazing. There's two lead rhythm guitarists in that band. They've already met Robert, they know Robert, they've been touring with me for almost a year now, and they are really looking forward to some serious shredding guitar battles on stage, and there's a lot of funny reenactments that are gonna happen as well. So the whole idea of it is it's utterly uplifting with staggering rock music and it's the story of our lives all right then less said at this point the better but the opening has got people rolling on the floor already there's really really lovely ideas so everybody we have a very themed sunday lunch for you tomorrow by a hugely respected german band And we are performing in German just for you on Sunday lunch. See you tomorrow. From Robert. And Toya.